Okay. The specific heat of gold is 0 0.129. So in gold specific heat is 0 0.129 joules per gram per degree. So every degree increase. Now they want the molar heat capacity. Okay, so you're probably wondering, which actually I did it first, how do you even get there? But the answer actually lies in the units of the specific heat, specifically <laughs> uh, this unit here. Right now, that's in grams. So in a sense, what this question is asking for is the specific heat, but instead of it being measured by per gram, they want it per mole. So now you're probably also wondering, how do I make that change? So let's use our rules in terms of like uh, numerator and denominator, and then let's use what we've learned so far in terms of when we want a certain uh, unit canceled, we have to put in the opposite uh, place, whether it's numerator and denominator from what it was originally at. So the one thing we do need is that we need the um, molar mass of gold which in this case, because it appears in the nature as just gold by itself, it's just going to be the atomic mass unit. So if you look at the periodic table here, gold is all the way down here. And the value is 196.97 grams per mole. That is the molar mass of gold. Okay. So now that we have that, we want the specific heat, but in terms of that in the molar, right? So we first write down what our specific heat is when we're using grams. So 0 0.129, okay, joules, and then we do this to make it easier for us to write, per gram per times degree Celsius. And now we want to cancel out the grams. So actually what we'll do, okay, so do it like that. So grams needs to go on top. So we have 196.97 grams per mole. And now, bam, these two cancel out. And if we multiply 0.129 times 196.97, we get 25.41. Let's rhyme. Let's round there. Okay. But now you know is okay. So what would the units be? It still has the joules. It's still over Celsius, but now it's over moles as well. So look quite similar actually. It will be joules per mole times degrees Celsius. This actually would be our new molar heat capacity, because now it's saying for every mole and increase in one degree Celsius, the amount of joules it will take to uh, increase that gold will be 25.41 joules. Okay, and wow, perfect. That is exactly what we're going to be able to do here. And exactly. Um, the only thing I would stress really is to make sure that you keep all your elements. So exactly, they do have degree Celsius there. I always put that there just because you know, on the off chance, then they say, oh, there was a change in like, you know, 20 degrees. And then they ask you to calculate the um, the amount of joules from there. It's just good to have that um, unit there so you know how to factor it in. But other than that, though, this is correct. So with that, let's move on to the next question. Question six.